Hello, my name is Red7 and in today's video we're going to learn the basics of flying in Star Citizen. I'm going to show you how to spawn the ship and then how to find it, how to take off, how to simply travel around the verse and how to land. Apart from that we're going to also learn some other basic commands. So let's go to it, shall we? Currently, there are three main areas where you can spawn. Port Olisar, this is where we are, Levski and the city of Lorville. Depending on where you spawn, it's going to be easier or harder to find your ship, to find a terminal and spawn it. So I'm going to show you Port Olisar today and in some other videos, I'm going to show you the city of Lorville and Levski as well. But the main thing that you have to do is to find a terminal and spawn your ship. So let's quickly go to it. Now, in Port Olisar, the terminals are here. You just have to approach one, press F to use, and then move around with your mouse, and choose the ship you want to spawn. I'm going to choose the Mustang Alpha, because this is the basic ship that almost everyone has. It's either the Mustang Alpha or the RSI Aurora MR. So I'm going to choose the Mustang this time. And we need to pay attention here where the ship is going to be spawned. It's C01. Now we have to we have to check 958 C01 is here 0004. So we can go for it. Now, what you need to remember before going out into space is to equip your helmet or put the helmet on. So let's do that. Moby glass, we access the Moby glass by pressing the F1 key. Then we need to go to the equipment manager, armor, and equip the helmet and also save the changes. And press one, F1 again. And there we go. Now, depending on what ship you spawn, you will have an entrance or an entrance point or, or some other. Most of the, the smaller ship have entrances on the left side, the front left side right here. When you press F, you see different options. But if you spawn a bigger ship like this giant here in front of us then you will probably have some hatches or some elevators below you just have to walk around press f from time to time and see where you can enter your ship but this time with the mustang it's going to be very easy because we have it right here so i'm going to press the enter pi enter pilot seat There you go. Now, once in the ship, you have several options on how to be prepared for the flight. You can add some quick accesses if you want. There's like a button power ready or there's like power, power on or engines on. But I'm going to show you the easiest way. The easiest way is always the way that you know, right? So I'm going to press F and look around for some buttons. And I already see something. I'm going to check for the flight ready there you go now we are ready to fly i'm going to show you the basics with mouse and keyboard okay so there you go we are ready now to fly we can press f4 to check our ship if we want and f4 back again now by pressing the space the space bar you lift off with mouse you can yaw you can pitch and with q and e you roll basic stuff right with the space bar you take altitude and with the control you fly downwards with the three you thrust backwards and with the two you thrust forward basic stuff right easy to remember now i'm going to switch to third person and i'm going to show you how to deploy or retract your landing gear 
the, the Mustang could have a bug currently, but I'm going to just show you what I mean. So I'm going to press the N key. And as you can see, the wings didn't go down. So it, it's a visual bug. If I press again, the wings will be down. You see? So you have to do it like, yeah, three times with the Mustang. So once again, I retract and now the wings go down. Perfect. Now we can move. I'm going to press W again. And now we have some more speed. And we can fly around a bit in, for, in third person or in first person. You can also activate FOIP and VoIP if you want and enable head tracking. I showed that in the previous videos. Check them, check them out, please. So this is me traveling around Port Olisar right now. And in, in order to do this more fun and more easy to understand, we're going to do it. We're going to practice a bit. OK, so I'm going to set up a route. Pressing F2 brings up your map. I'm going to zoom out to find some place to travel towards and I'm going to choose Delamar. I clicked, I double clicked the planet and this way uh, by double clicking you approach it and you see what's like close to it. Even, even the bases or the stations, the outposts that you can see on the moon. You see there's Levski there, you see. But I'm not, we're, we're, not, we're just going to first go to the moon and then we're going to choose some, some other point of interest that we want to travel. I'm going to set route and here we have it. I'm going to, I'm going to press F2 again now and our waypoint is there in front of us. Okay. Now we need to press B to spool and to calibrate. And as soon as we are at 100%, we're ready to go. I'm going to keep be pressed now and I started quantum traveling now there's some lag here and there I do not have the best PC in the world and the game still needs some st still needs some optimization that's yeah that's how it is you can switch to third person by pressing F4 and looking around your ship if you want. You can press F4 and zoom out or zoom in with the scroll mouse or with plus and minus. I showed that in my previous video. You can check them out and just pause the video and rewind it if you want or if, you, if some stuff is not clear. Alright, so now we are in front of Delamar. We can search for some outposts that we want to visit and we're going to do that because I really want to show you guys how to uh, require a landing permission and to land inside one of the hangars. So I'm going to press B to find some point of interest that I want to travel towards and let's just find, let's just go for Levski, okay? Spooling complete, so I only need to wait for the calibration and then I'm going to press, I'm going to hold actually B and the QT started. And you have to do nothing else here, you just need to wait for the quantum travel to finish and then you start your way towards the outpost or towards the space station or wherever you're traveling towards now i lost i lost visuals on left key so i'm going to press b again to highlight it i i cannot quantum travel uh, again because i'm too close but what i can do is i can boost a bit right now i'm keeping w pressed but if i press shift i increase my speed let me just show you you see it's increasing there if i press shift again I decreased it. There's an option here that I really recommend you guys to activate, which is game settings and afterburner toggle. Set it on yes. It's an option that I really like, but you guys just, yeah, I showed it to you. It's there if you want to use it in your call. If not, you just have to pre press or to keep that, pre that, that shift uh, key pressed. So I'm going to highlight it again because I lost visual again. If you approach a planet with a bigger ship, you need to keep an eye on that max safe speed because 
if you don't, if your, your speed is actually a lot higher than the max save speed, you'll probably crash into the planet. So keep that in mind if you fly a reclaimer, for example, or who knows, something else. But with this Mustang, it's, it's totally safe. Now we're approaching the base. I do not, heave, I do not need uh, that, uh, that diamond uh, icon in front of me. So I'm going to slow down a bit now. You can also switch to third person if you want. So we're approaching now. This is the base of, uh, of Levski. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to lower the landing gear and this way decrease the speed. And now I need to press... I'm going to switch to first person first. There are two options here on how to hail and ask for a landing permission. You either go from this menu here, comms, and search for left key landing control and you click this button, one option, or you press F1, you go to comm link, contacts, and left key landing control and you hail from here, left click. You see? Sometimes you hear like a voice warning yeah, welcome, this is your pad, this is where you have to go and land. Sometimes it's a bit laggy and it needs some polishment. Um, you see, so I did receive one. I did receive one. I am not allowed to 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 land because all the pads are full. So we, we just, yeah. So depending on how much I have to wait, I'm going to cut the video here and show you the landing, the landing mechanism again. All right, so here we go. We got the warning that we have a free landing pad now in order to make it easier because you may have a different ship you can approach in third person this way you can see better how to change camera and such I showed that in a previous video please check that video out so I approach then I press control to move down then a bit forward a bit more control you can even press Y if you want to free loop, but I think it's it's enough with what I'm doing. So there you go. I can press a bit more because I'm a bit too towards the like the back of the hanger. And here we go. Control. And we landed. Alright. Welcome. Thank you, Eslan. I'm going to switch to first person and turn the engines off. There should be like an option here, power off. What I do normally when I play is I lock the ship, press to lock. And this way no one can open my ship except if he's in my party, okay? The other stuff that I do is I refuel before I get out of the ship because I forget. So I refuel, confirm, so press one, uh, F1 again, go to this wrench here, vehicle maintenance services and refuel or restock or repair. I'm going to refuel quantum as well, confirm. And as, so as soon as I've done that and I'm, I'm free to exit the ship, I press F to look around to see where the exit option is. On the Cutlass Black, for example, it's here on the right. Some of them have it on the left side. I'm going to press it. Here we go. So now that we are here at Levski and the ship is safe, I'm going to show you where to spawn the ship here, where, where to find the terminals. So I'm going to go for the elevator. It's actually very easy. Where it's a bit complicated is at Lorville. Because you have to travel with the train and find TISA spaceport and then find the terminal and so on. But you'll figure it out as well. I can even show it I can even show it to you in a in a future video. So I called for uh, for the elevator. We need to wait for a while. So we are Hangar 4, we're gonna go Customs. What you need to know here is as soon as you spawn a second ship, the first ship is going to despawn. 
is going to be stored in the hangar, but you will be able to recall it. So these are the terminals where you can spawn the ships at Levski. Normally you will spawn here, if you die and spawn at Levski, you will probably spawn either here or on the other side of the map, uh, of the um, outpost. Let me just quickly show you. Here, you will be coming from that gate or probably from this one. I'm not sure. No, did not, not that one. Here. So, it's easy, right? In front of the statue, you turn left and there are the terminals. So, this was basically it. We learned like the most basic stuff that everyone needs to know when they want to fly around in Star Citizen. We learn how to spawn our ship and how to find it, then how to take off and also to fly from point A to point B, how to land and some very useful keys and commands that we need to know. I hope you guys found the video useful. If so, please share, like and subscribe. Patrons, thank you very much for the support you guys offered. You guys are awesome. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. If you are thinking on buying Star Citizen, please use the referral code that you see right now on the screen. It will give you 5000 extra in-game credits and will help me unlock some in-game features. All the info that you need can be found in my previous videos. Thank you very much for using it. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.